in the last video we discussed about opportunity management where we we have seen how an account can be created under the account how contact can can exist like contacts right multiple contacts and uh, same account can have opportunity right and opportunity will have nothing but product right so product will be associated to the opportunity not with the con uh, not with the account so um, now uh, the next uh, scenario is this so the customer who is the customer xyz private limited and uh, the contact person name is joe right now joe is the contact person so joe said that um, hey rajesh you are the sales person can you send me the quotation i know you are charging me uh, 180 us dollar so can you send me the quotation i want to see after the taxes after the uh, 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 you know uh, all the different vat gst the local tax right? what is the final amount that you want to charge so for that we have something called quotation all right so understand this uh, you as an admin have to enable the quotation for the first time okay this is the brand new org we haven't enabled the quotation so far so this is just one time job as an admin you have to do okay so go to this setup if you go to the setup and search with quote you have something called quote setting if you go to the quote setting you have to enable the quote the moment you enable the quote you get to see uh, this page is where you have to check all the boxes uh, this is basically the page layout do not worry we're going to have a detailed session on what is page layout so just check these boxes and save so this is again a one time job i have done with the uh, uh, with the quotation enablement now what i'll do is i'll just go here in the same opportunity page if i scroll down see there is nothing called quote we have something called uh, products uh, we have something called notes and attachment by the way if you want if you as a business uh, user wants to attach something wants to upload some file some pdf some excel you can actually upload over here we have something called contact roles contact roles are basically uh, let's say there are five uh, contacts under one account and uh, you know uh, who is what right so so john is suppose uh, the vice president of sales and uh, joe is basically uh, someone else right so how do you map that contact is basically in the contact role so you can actually uh, click on view all these are the contacts so for added with the role now if you click on add contact roles you can select okay i have two contacts so far so joe and john right click on next so joe would be these are the contact roles we have okay you can change it again you can change whatever uh the business need over here but let's say joe is the business uh is the decision maker okay and john is nothing but um uh influ an influencer okay that's it so you can have all the contact role defined in the uh contact role sections i'll go back to the opportunity if i refresh check this out i have now products notes contact roles partners partners are basically when let's say uh, uh you know this xyz private limited company is is actually a partner with another uh, another company called abc abc private limited and that abc private limited is also nothing but an account so you can select okay this company is partner with um, abc company so for that you have to have the abc company uh, abc private limited uh, created as a as a as an account and you can go here partner and click on new and select okay abc company i don't have the abc company over here so if it is coming if it is there it will come over here and select like what is what what type of partner is it like agency or whatever role whatever uh, uh, partnership role you want you can define here got it so in a nutshell partners are basically sometime what happen a customer can be a partner with another existing customer so in this case you can uh, select that partner stage history is also a very important um, uh field for the sales executive because this shows okay initially the stage was qualification then it have uh, changed to negotiation then it changed to something prospecting and so and so right and from from the negotiation it went back to qualification again right the initial stages all this history you'll get to see over here this will give you a, a proper glance on the customer uh, side and then in the end we have something called quote guess what this quote was not available before i enabled it so once you as an admin enable the code this the code will be coming over here now i as the sales executive will go to this opportunity and will tell the customer uh, customer in the sense the contact person joe 
saying, hey Joe, let me send you a quotation with whatever price that I have quoted. And I will come down over here and create a new quote. When you create a new quote, quote is again a, a standard object given by Salesforce. All right. And you just have to give a name. Um, quote for every quote should have an expiry date. Okay. So give that expiry date. I mean, whatever price that uh, the business user is offering will be valid till 31st of this month. So that's a validity. And then just give whatever these are the standard field by the way customer can have like recently i was helping a customer and the customer was telling you know what um, we have uh, uh, something called uh, so internally if any sales if any sales user is referencing um, um, giving a referral to any customer right so they had a field called uh, coupon code right and if that coupon code uh, they had some specific coupon code right if you provide the coupon code the coupon code was actually uh, reducing the amount uh, with 10 percent and that's what they wanted to happen automatically right so we can actually do all these of customization in the back end but these are the standard fields given by salesforce like all the billing uh, address information and so and so now click on save i have created i as a business user have created the code what is next i have to send the code so if you click on this quote here, the quote is also having stage, I mean status. So let's say the quote, we haven't sent the quote yet. So after we send the quote, the status of the quote is suppose need uh, needs review, customer needs to review it, right? And then customer is reviewing. So it will be, it will become in review. Then the customer has approved, it will be approved. Then the customer has rejected. Whatever it is, the salesperson will go to this quote and keep changing the statuses. Okay, and this path again will help the sales executive to change the status instead of clicking this edit button and changing this manually. Okay, so now this code has not been sent yet. And if you remember, um, within Salesforce, the sales person can actually email the code to the customer. How? If you click on this, we have something called create PDF or email the code, just create the PDF first. This is the pre PDF preview, by the way, uh, here definitely customer will say, give me my, uh, you know, put my logo and stuff, everything we can change. Okay. And then once you're done with that, click on save and email code. Now I, as a sales executive can actually email the code right from my Salesforce. And if you click on save, by the way, who will receive the code in area? The code will be received by the, by one of the contact person, right? So we can put here in the, in the. So the moment I put Joe, the moment I put J right, uh, with with J O whatever uh, contacts are there in this particular contact object, it, it will be showing you as a suggestion. Okay, so who will be receiving the code? Uh, basically, the contact persons of this particular account called X Y Z Private Limited, and click on send. If this uh, contact has a, by the way, I have selected wrong contact. Okay. If, if you provide a correct contact and if you click on send button, the customer, the contact will receive the code and maybe the customer will say, yes, I'm interested, not interested based on that. The code will be either accepted or rejected. Okay. Let's say the code has been denied. Okay. Let's say the code has been denied. Customer has rejected the code. Now, what will be the next customer has rejected the code? Either the sales executive will recreate a new code with whatever extra discount that he can give and the same process will begin or the customer is not at all interested to buy the product. So in this case, what will happen? The sales executive will go back to the opportunity and close the opportunity with status as what? Status as close lost. So when you click on close, we have something called close own or close lost. So the sales executive will actually change the status as close lost. Click on save. Let me ask you a question here. Okay. Understand this question and then try to answer this. Anyway, I cannot hear your answer, but let's try to answer this by yourself. Okay. Uh, this opportunity is been, uh, is lost. Okay. So let me just open the account. This is the account and this has one opportunity, which is lost. Now let's say I, as a sales executive had a second thought, had a uh, strategies. The strategy was if the customer is denying to buy my first product, I'm going to go and sell 
another product which is little cheaper than the first one what do you think what i will be doing as a sales executive will i create a new lead and start doing the same lead conversion process or will i create a new contact or what will i do again what i want is i want to resell i want to do i want to sell another product to the same customer xyz private limited i hope uh, whatever you're thinking is this what we will do what i will do as a sales executive is i'll just create a new opportunity see i know the customer right i am selling the same customer probably a new product so i'll create a new opportunity maybe like whatever second product and uh, this this opportunity i'm expecting to close by 31st of this month initially the stage was prospecting same and i i will start the same process again same process in the sense i will go to the second opportunity add the product send the quotation quotation will be approved and the customer will be uh, paying the money and then the opportunity will be closed own got it so cust if you want to do any if you want to do any cross sell is the same customer right so you don't have to create the customer or lead again you just go to the customer uh, the account and keep creating a new opportunity and start working on the opportunity as a sales executive okay now if i open the account let's say i as a business owner uh, i'm opening this account i have a clear picture saying okay this account my sales executive name rajesh was trying to sell first product he failed he uh, that, that opportunity was lost we lost 180 us dollar but second time when the second product it is actually closed own but i mean this is not a complete opportunity right we have been added the product we neither have uh, send the quotation right but finally it can it, it shows me clearly okay this account has two closed two opportunity one is lost one is own okay. this is the product called sales cloud which helps the business like delipad to maintain their sales data to so all uh, delipads um you know uh, sales executive right will be logging into the same salesforce org like how uh, this username rajesh has logged in and will create uh, their own leads and will do the same process okay so they will have their own account and uh, they will have their own opportunity under the account and keep doing the same process so ideally everybody will be able to see everybody's data by the way salesforce do not restrict in the real time project definitely the business will ask you to uh, put some sort of security which will say okay if i am not the owner of a record i will not be able to see the data and uh, that thing we will discuss in this security chapter all right so that's all pretty much about sales uh, sales cloud